The Japanese word hoa or hawa if you're not Japanese or what they call a gaijin means bountiful peace or beautiful harmony. And that's an interesting name for a gun manufacturer, right? Not if you're Japanese. That actually is quite fitting considering their military history. Now, I also studied Japanese and Asian martial culture in college. And guys, it is a fascinating history, rich in tradition. Now, their quality was such that many Western companies, including Mossberg, Smith & Wesson, and Weatherby, sourced many of their components and barrels from them. Now, unlike many of the gun manufacturers today, they were banned from making military or military-like weapons after World War II, which is why they doubled down then on the hunting market in the West, because that was not part of the treaty and the surrender, and they were able to do that. Now, they have come a long way since then, and now they have a huge variety and options for hunting and long-range competition guns. Now, one of their most popular lines is the Hoa M1500 Bolt Action. That's sort of their, you know, their flagship. Now, let's take a look at their newest and most modern version um, of that, the Carbon Flag Chassis Precision Rifle in the popular 308. You know, will this gun prove to be bountiful harmony shooting? Only one way to find out. I'm Drew Case. Welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. Now, the carbon flag chassis comes in either 6.5 Creedmoor or 308. Now, I went with the 308 due to the cost, cost of the ammo, availability, and the variety of ammo that we have with the 308. And I just happen to have a lot of 308 around for my own guns. Take a quick look at what HOA has listed for the specs and tech before we get to shooting. Now, one thing right off the bat, I would much prefer a stock in just a solid color, like, you know, black or coyote tan, you know, especially for hunting. I'm really not into necessarily having the stars and stripe on my actual gun. Now, I was not seeing that option if it is available, and I could have just missed it. It wouldn't be the first time. Enough talking. Let's get this zeroed at 100 yards, season the barrel. Have some fun and see what we can do at distance up there on the hill. We can go out to 500 yards and what we can get for groups using quality ammo. Now, quick note, okay, HOA designs their guns using Hornady ammo and highly recommends specific loads of the Hornady for each gun. Now, to satisfy their sub-MOA guarantee, you know, because that's, yeah, that's something to guarantee a sub-MOA, you have to use that ammo for the guarantee. It's not one of the preferred, but this was the last four shots, you know, as I'm still breaking in the barrel. That would actually, uh, yeah, boy, it'd be awful close to the sub MOA guarantee. And that's the 168 grain. Okay, so I got the barrel, you know, pretty, pretty broken. It's not, uh, you know, the ultimate seasoning. I don't have several hundred rounds, but, you know, when I'm shooting Hornady, I don't have several hundred rounds to go through. But we've got a, we've got a good proper seasoning. Now, this is not one of them that's on the list, but I have great luck with this. This is what I use hunting. I think it's a tack driver. So I'm going to start with this. And what I'm going to do is we're going to do five rounds, okay, and then we're going to wait... 10 minutes in between and then we'll do another five rounds so we have the three different types of ammo here that we're going to go through and you know 10 minutes inside hopefully that barrel will cool down if not you know then we'll take it up a little bit more but i want to see it's time to see what kind of groups we're looking at
Okay, it's been uh, at least a half an hour. I've got now the 150 grain SST, and that is on the list. Let's uh, let's see what we get for a group on this. That's a pretty solid group. Okay, so here's the groups. That's the Amax. I think there's four shots there. Um, yeah, it was. We were starting off with a cold bore, and it was doing that. And I think that was the order. And then it ended there. Uh, we might come back and try that one again. And then there's the 150. That's five shots. Okay. I, oh, boy. I don't, it's, yeah, okay. Well, we got three there. And actually, that was the first three. So we've met the sub MOA guarantee. Uh, you know, I would say that we met it there, too. And then this is the interlock. And, you know, that's not bad. It's spread out, you know, two and two. Um, which doesn't surprise me. Uh, I, I wouldn't expect that to be a top performer. You know, it's a soft point. Um, these are going to be much more aerodynamic. So anyway. <laughs> okay, well. This gun, this barrel, likes to be warm. It took four shots, and on the fourth shot, I was in the bullseye, and then those last three were all touching. In fact, I, we, we need to just stop here, and I need to show you the group. It usually goes the other way. My experience is, is you know, the cold bore shot is the most accurate, um, but yeah, whatever, it is what it is, and we just shot a really nice group. Okay, so. All right, let's go take a look at those groups. And that's what I ended up with. I did have two over here that I mean, that meets our sub, sub MOA guarantee. So does that, you know. So, okay, so it's interesting, you know, different days, um, different groups. I fired these two groups probably a week ago, and then a storm came in, and I had to pull it down. But anyway, that was the 168 grain Amax, and, you know, it is what it is. That's not one of them that was recommended. Now, this is the 150 grain SST. Uh, sweet, that's five shots. Now, these are all 10 minutes apart. So I fire, I take it inside, um, and just let it sit for 10 minutes. Buzzer goes off, come back out, fire another round, we do that. So each one of these took 50 minutes to do. This was the last one. This was the 165 grain interlock. Um, that was the last three shots. So... You know, that's what we're getting when we do it essentially cold bore. I think real quick, I might try the 165 grain um, as fast as I can go. Maybe pop in a couple of military surplus rounds to warm the barrel because that I have a lot of. And it's time to start playing on some steel and see what we can do with the optic. Just notice something here. The buffer tube actually uh, came loose. So anyway, um, and on this particular stock, you have to pull this down to move it in and out. I can't say I'm honestly a huge fan of, of that. We do have quick detach here and then same on the other side. And we do have the cheek weld, which is adjustable as well. And that one, we just simply loosen this up and then the cheek weld will go up or down. Let me show you what I'm getting for field of view here. Okay, so this is what I'm getting at 100 yards. And we have two different reticle colors. We have the green and we also have red. And they are really fine crosshairs, really fine. So that's what we're seeing on full magnification at 100 yards. Here we are with the red. That's on full brightness during the day at 100 yards. 
Now, as far as parallax, um, a little bit different. You know, we go from 100, 200, 300, 500, and I haven't found that it necessarily corresponds as far as focus. So I've kind of had to adjust a little bit with this and then with the focus here. Okay, so out of curiosity, I went back and I took the 165 grain because I had great results with it and I thought it was completely zeroed on that. So I fired uh, three military rounds like I had done before and then I fired the five and it went one, two, three, four, five. You know, the last group, so I'm thinking, okay, well, it likes warm. Problem is, is that's not gonna be on the zero where I wanted. Now the 150 grain, you know, if you recall, we had the five shot group up here and the barrel's really hot. So I thought, yeah, you know, let's see what we do with that. Well, there's four shots, was really happy with that, had one flyer. So I'm thinking, okay, this is gonna be the one that we're gonna reach out at some distance. So I did, from this one, I did eight clicks down um, and that's what I got. So then I moved up here and well, from here I did another two clicks down and I had done two clicks over and this is what I got with three rounds. So what I wanna do now is I did two more clicks to the left and we should be good to go and let's have some fun on some steel. It's about damn time. Hey folks, are you enjoying this review? If you are, help support the channel, hit that subscribe button. This helps more than just about anything. It's simple, quick, costs you nothing, not a zip, zero, nothing. So hit that button, keep the reviews coming. Now, if you have not visited my webpage, you should for many reasons, like my discount codes for some of the great companies, including ammo, guns, and gear. I have a list of the companies that I use the most and recommend. At the bottom of the page is a list of current discount codes ranging anywhere from 5 to 15% off anything in your cart. Now, you should be interested in my crazy, stupid deals subscription. Here are some of the deals that I found in the past. And when I find these, I now have the ability to share in an instant with everyone that subscribes. And I blast them out in an email as soon as I find them it costs you nothing unsubscribe at any time i have saved folks hundreds even thousands of dollars don't take my word read the comments it works it's awesome and it costs nothing if you follow my channel and you shop on Amazon, you can help support and keep the reviews coming by going on to Amazon through my link. Anything and everything you purchase by doing so helps support the channel. You can literally buy toilet paper through my link and it helps support the channel and the reviews. Simply save the link to your phone or your computer and shop as you always do. And check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30 day money back guarantee. You got nothing to lose. Literally thousands have found them helpful. Read the reviews and see for yourself. Here and check out the cooking tips page. There are some awesome recipes on there, good food, and it can literally save you thousands of dollars a year. Thanks for your help. Couldn't do it without you. Okay, so I just wanna show you here what I'm getting for the image at 300 yards. Okay, the the parallax doesn't seem to really correspond uh, perfectly with the actual distance. Um, I have to, it's not quite focused. So when I get the target completely in focus, I, the parallax is actually on infinity. Okay, so we're looking at this reticle in the BDC. Nowhere in the box, the paperwork, can I find anything that says anything about this BDC. I did go to the web page. I downloaded the manual and same thing. It basically gave me what was in the box. I'm assuming that those circles are increments of 100 and the solid one down there is 500. I was told that this is pretty much, you know, good to go out to a thousand yards. So let's just give it a test and we'll start using those circles and walk our way up to the top of the hill at 500 yards. Yeah, just a little bit of wind. Shouldn't be enough really to, to have any influence here. I'm gonna use the, let's see, it'd be the second circle down from the crosshairs. I'm assuming that that's 300 yards. I got a 12 inch gong up here. We've got the 150 grain that we got zeroed. Let's see if we can hit that 12 inch. That should be pretty easy. Nice, all right. That worked. Um, my buffer tube here is is gotten loose again. All right, let's try uh, let's try our 12 inch up there at 400. We'll adjust parallax. Actually, I can't because I'm maxed out on infinity. 
So I'm just going to use the focus here. I don't think I hit the gun. Let's try the IDPA. Let's try one more time here. Yep, there's a deer that just walked out. Come on, buddy, go away. You're in the way. There we go. That's 400. Yeah, that deer was like right above the target at 400, so if this thing shot high, uh, I really didn't want to get a deer. All right, I have to adjust the focus. Again, I'm maxed out. And actually that whole circle would be 600, so this is, okay, we'll go 500 here. Not a hit. Okay, that hit. Um, you know, the 150, it's going to be a little hotter, possibly, than what this scope is zeroed for. Let's uh, try a few more here. I'm going to go in between the third and the fourth. Kind of the wind, none of my windmills are moving. I can't tell which way we've got some wind here. Okay, and I'm shooting for my smaller target up there. There we got it. Try one more. Well, there you go, guys. It is what it is. There you have it, guys. It is what it is. You decide what you think. Did Hoa meet the name Bountiful Harmony? That's for you to decide. Anyway, I hope you found the video helpful and enjoyed it. If so, help support the channel. Be sure and hit that subscribe button, guys. That really does help the most. Hit that button. Anyway, until next time, happy shooting. Remember, educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. And every time that we're out shooting, everybody's watching us. That makes us ambassadors. We're ambassadors for the Second Amendment. So if you value the Second Amendment, be a good ambassador. Be a safe and responsible gun owner.